second hammer attempt.
downstream. You want me to do it a couple more times? Yeah, that'd be great. The water's going to help float the camera down the pipe. So realistically, with the, the shells in there, that's probably, I mean, that's not good, but it was probably the glove that did it. The glove went down there, filled up with water like a balloon, water balloon. that was there is no longer there. The glove? Yep. It just flushed downstream. It's gone. That's where it was sitting. It was right there. You can see all the grease buildup that everything was sticking into. Mm -hmm. I still recommend a jetter to flush out all this grease. Now one of the glove, when if another glove goes down there, one it to stick to that grease? Yep. Yep, that grease is gotta go. Yeah. You can see that. Good view of all the grease sticking. Yeah, flushing that I glove down that toilet and having it stick there. Yeah. Versus just going down a drain. You know that they take cover off of. It's unlikely, but I see gloves everywhere in this restaurant. It's a scourge of America. Mm -hmm. You spend like sixty million dollars a year on gloves. That's probably mainly plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> First time I ever seen one that created this problem, huh? Yeah. But wouldn't that even give the percentage clean? Just just like a like a vessels in a body. Ninety eight point four percent. Oh no, that's my USB drive oh. that I'm recording on. Oh, okay. So I'm recording all this right now. So it's it's also recording audio. I forgot that's to record that. Oh yeah. no. Right, forty percent grease. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Can't get past that location with the camera, that's as far as it'll push. So we have to assume the glove kept going. Yep. <laughs> that's the great straight up. Well, it's probably not a bad idea just to keep on flushing the toilet and push it all the way down. See yeah, how well the cutter got most of the grease out of there for you guys. Oh, that's what those are, huh? That's the the lines from yeah. the cutter. Yeah. So now on the way out, it'll measure how many feet. Mm -hmm.
11. That's going to be dead today. Is it? Yeah. It'll rain like this Monday. What time is it? 10. Well, to get a jetter in here, we have to turn a hose from the front of the building all the way through the building back into this toilet. That's the problem. Um, that's going to be more than an hour chore, more than an hour to get it down here. It's because it's already on a job site. Um, Probably be best to plan it for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, because it looks like it's clear. Yep. So if we could, uh, if we were, how long do you think overall running the pipe, everything, jetting it, whatever we got to do? Um, like three hours. Yeah, two to three hours. Okay. Worst case scenario, we'll say three. Yep. So if we could be done by ten, mm -hmm. so six thirty, seven o'clock. If you guys were to show up. Yeah, normally our first call is at 7.30 while we get to the shop at 7.30. Let me see if I can get a second tech here early with me. I'll come down early. That's not a problem. But I have to be able to get a second technician in here with me. So you run it from out on the street in versus from no, there? From here. here. From there out okay, on the you street? Push okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's no way to go backwards because the pipes are directional. If we try to go backwards up the line, it'll hit all the branch lines and get stuck um, and not go the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really got to go from here out there. Um, from outside, we'll also hit it from that outside clean out and finish cleaning it from there to the main, mm -hmm. to the city main. Oh, so you push everything out past the clean out mm -hmm. and then hit it there? And finish pushing it to the city main. You know, wash away and wash away from there because it's mm -hmm. going to be like a flowing river in the city main down here in this part of the city. So How big are the city mains? Uh, it's, it's probably an 8 or 10 inch, maybe even larger. So okay. Pretty good size. Um, I, I know up on Queen Anne there's some mains that you can drive a Volkswagen boat through. So it, it really depends on the, the area of town, how old the town is, uh, the area that the town is. So I know they come through here and redo stuff all the time. Not sure how big it is. Interesting. Oh, let's see. So that toilet has to be taken off tomorrow again. Yeah. And we have run. How disruptive is it to to, to do it today? Is it a loud? <coughs> you don't want it. I think we're it's more of the hose running from because we got they got to have access water. So we have to run a hose all the way through the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Yeah, our our irritated we guest yesterday. We probably shouldn't do it two days in a row. Our, our jetter is, is a big, huge trailer um, with an engine on it. We run the hydro jetter hose all the way through the restaurant, and then we got to send it down the pipe. So we're going to string hose through the restaurant and then send it down the pipe. So we're going to, it's, it's going to be a trip hazard. It's going to be in the way. The machine's going to be outside and very noisy, um, about, as, about as loud as a diesel rig going up a hill. Um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a day. I, I got it in service. It's it's nice and clean at this moment. So, yeah. let me call Bob here. I have him in that phone.